Iverson with Iverson Ceramics. I'm here with Lee Liston. A man here is gonna learn how to wheel throw and then we're gonna turn that cylinder into a little face vessel, kind of like kind of like this guy. Yeah, that's sick. Thank you, sir. So tell me, what now what is wheel throwing? I don't even know what that means. Okay, so we are going to wedge up a ball of clay. Okay. We're gonna throw it on the wheel. Okay. We're going to center it, we're gonna open, we're gonna widen, and then we're gonna do a couple pulls and we're gonna make it into like a cylinder, like a cup. Okay. And then once you make the cup, then we're gonna stick our hands down on the inside, or think one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside, and then we're going to shape a basic face. Okay. I think you're gonna pose for me, and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna make. Oh, you're I'm gonna, gonna be your French girl. Yeah, kind of a deal. exactly. Okay. And you're cool. gonna you're Got gonna it. make a little face, and I'm gonna kind of make a, a little rough sketch of you, okay. show you how it works. Oh, this is gonna be cool. And then we're gonna get you on here, and you're gonna make one too. Okay, excellent. So, um, but before we kind of get going, like, what what got you into ceramics, you know, and like kind of, cause you have this whole, you know, smorgasbord, you have so many things over here and you know, yeah. just like where, where did, where does that come from? Well, I've always wanted to be an artist ever since I was a kid. Yeah. And when I always wanted to be a 2D artist and then my first day of high school, 10th grade, my, my second period class was my first ceramics class. Mm. And I was hooked from day one. I got a full ride scholarship to the U in sculpture and ceramics. Yeah. And I got my master's degree in education and now I'm a high school ceramics teacher. Here wow, so it's like almost like full, yep. full circle. Like, so where, where do you want, I mean, are you happy with what it is? Like, what, what's your dream goal with, with your career in ceramics? Absolutely. Well, so I'm 16 years in, and at this point, I've, I've got my high school career here that I'm teaching at high school, and then I come home, and I teach in this class, I teach here, I teach uh, three adult classes and one kid's class every week. And then I would really like to make my art and get that out to the community and show people what I'm about and what I like to do. And what I like to do is I like to sculpt people. I'm a figurative sculptor. Oh, cool. And okay. I found that when I make a figurative sculpture, a sculpture that is also functional, that it kind of sends more to the masses and like more people, you know, if you can drink coffee out of it mm -hmm. or you can, you know, make a salad inside of it or yeah. eat cereal, then all of a sudden it puts my work into people's everyday lives and uh, like brings them joy and like something that they do all the time, which is eat in their homes. So. I mean, are you taking on new students if that's a thing? Are you always looking for people to teach and things like that? Absolutely, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking to start my first workshops this, uh, this coming summer. It's, it's here, it's already hot. Yeah, 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 right? of course, yeah, yeah. But some workshops and I'm, also, I'm taking on students until, those, until all those classes are full. And uh, my, my kids' class is 10 and up and and then once they graduate from high school, then they are into my adult classes. Yeah, and so, so. guys, make sure that you look in like links in the description and, and things like that. Look for emails and everything. And make sure you send Logan a message if you're interested in learning ceramics. As you can see, he's taking on students. So I'm excited to learn. Like I said, I haven't even done any of this yet. So I'm a little nervous. So thanks for having me, by the way. Absolutely, Lee. I'm excited to have you, man. Here's your claim, my friend. Wait, why'd you give me a little one? Because it's your first time. Okay. <laughs> Wink, wink. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. Okay, anyway, so this is you. You, it can't be dry, but it can't be wet. So you're gonna dip your thumb. Okay. And then you're gonna just get a little, just a little bit of moisture on there. Okay. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then turn on full speed. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay now, now just now rub your finger on there. Okay. And then put your hand on there and rub it all around. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's not, there's not a puddle, but it's not dry. Okay. okay. Now turn it off. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, and then just put it on there and then just kind of rock it like a boat or like no, no, no. Uh, at full speed. Nope. So you're just going to rock, oh. you're going to rock it and make that little dimple on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. A little mountain on the bottom. See that little guy? Yeah. Okay. So when you throw that down, you'll hit that there. point no, first and kick all the air out. Okay. okay? So do so, what? And then you're just going to slap it right there. Okay. Now slap it around. Okay. Now turn it on like 70% speed. Okay. Okay. Get your hands, get, go ahead and just dunk both of your hands in there. Okay. Or one hand and then that hand, yep. Okay, now just, not a lot of pressure, you're just getting it all wet, essentially. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and just put your hands on there. And just let it slide around. Whoa. I've never done this before. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, now dunk your hands again, because now that you got it established, yep. go just dunk your hands again. Okay, now, what okay. I want you to do is, with this hand, try to get some pressure against it going this direction. Okay. And then use your fingertips on that with that hand and pull this way. And I want you to use your fingertips to just try to get rid of that, try to get rid of that lump and try to unify it a little bit. So this is called centering. 
Yeah. So you can, so you're crushing it like this, these two directions. Good. Perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna go like this. Oh. Feels so weird in your hands. Like just your hands. Slowly in. work up. Okay. 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 And I see this little weird little bump. I'm just yeah. gonna dig my fingernail in there. Okay. You gotta take that off so it's not this little speed bump that's bothering you. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and do it, do it again. Now, so we made it a little bit taller. So now go ahead and just kind of push it back down. Can you do that for me too? That's what I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go. Is that good? Absolutely. Sweet. And now what? Yep. And then we're just gonna put your hands back on there. Okay. And what you wanna do is you, you wanna put this part of your palm on the side of the clay and uh -huh. the, this part of your palm on top. Okay. okay. So we're gonna go like this up here and then we're just gonna push it back down. Okay, now what you can do is you can put your left hand on there, just mm -hmm. like you were. This hand right here. Now see how you can see half the clay? Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna push it down. Now you see this weird little mushroom top? Yeah. Use, your, use this hand to kind of shape it and kind of push that clay back in. Yeah. And then you can rotate this hand down and kind of round it off a little bit. Yeah. And then you can push this hand in a little bit. And then slowly release. Whoa, okay. Okay. And then do a dip. Okay, and then what we can do, yeah, so you can dip. Okay. Nice. Okay, and now let's try, to, let's try to bring it, so we're wheel wedging, so we're gonna try and make it tall again. Okay. okay? So go ahead and just start right at the bottom. Okay, so now you got a little a little nub there. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna open it up. Okay. So we're gonna put your left hand right here, this hand kind of resting on this hand, and you're gonna push down right there, and you're gonna use the entire side of your finger. The point is gonna be start right there though, okay? Okay. Once you feel like you compressed it down, we'll soak up a little bit of that and make sure it looks good. And we'll just, you know, and you can even, you can even like make a little spiral at the bottom of your piece, you know, like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we'll get a little bit of water. Okay. Now, go ahead and just push right here like you were centering, but don't get too aggressive, otherwise it'll like collapse in on, your, on you. So you're just gonna push, and you can even put your finger on the inside wall and kind of just, support it so it can go straight up and down. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then let's make sure that all the thickness is good. All right, Lee, all those walls feel good, man. Let down your walls, everyone. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and soak, uh, clean that sponge out. Um, and then we're gonna soak up all the water on the inside. Um, actually, before we do that, let's clean it. Let's let's kind of do this pre-trim at the bottom. Now, sometimes I'll use my knife like this, but I should like I showed you. Should but I leave the sponge in here? Yeah, you can just throw it in there. I'm gonna have you use this guy, and we're gonna try something. Um, now, if you get too aggressive, you're gonna cut the whole bottom of this thing off. Okay. But what I want you to do is we're just gonna use this guy to remove a little bit of material down here on the bottom, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna kind of pre-trim and get rid of this little half pipe that's down there. Take this guy, yeah, and dunk it in the water so it does, and then so we don't, uh, 
it'll slide on the piece a little bit better. Just dunk that guy in there. Okay. And then put in your right hand and we're gonna make a little arch like this. And we're gonna kind of shape the outside. And we're just kind of lightly touching the outside of the surface. If, we, if it's too aggressive, then we'll obviously like, we could cause problems. We're gonna go try it close to the bottom. Of the So these are wood ribs. If it's not wet, it'll drag. But then it's kind of straight too. So then you can kind of you can kind of play with that on the outside. Okay, so now we started to shape. You see how it kind of comes up? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, you could, when you're making a face, you could like make my face, but like an alien with a big forehead. Right, you know? yeah. Or we can come in and we can kind of shape it back into more of a cylinder. But, so sometimes you can think about the shape you want uh, your person to be, the head that you're gonna make. And so like this one has kind of like a thinner chin and then it kind of like gets a, it gets a larger head. Mm -hmm. um, so you, or we could even stretch out the bottom and give it more of a jaw, whatever you're thinking about. So now, what you can do is you can take this guy and you can kind of just clean up that bottom edge right there mm -hmm. and kind of get like a little bit of an undercut going underneath your pot. With the wire? Yep. The wire to slide underneath your pot. Done. Cool. Well done. Go ahead and click, kick that, that pedal off. Okay. And you did it. Sweet. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Thanks for teaching well, me this. Done. We'll just start getting some basic uh, muscle features of the face and the bone structure. Mm -hmm. And as it starts to turn into something, we'll kind of keep on going with that. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, sweet, All right, man. Let's do it. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to push the eyebrows out and kind of make eyebrows and kind of cheekbones. Okay, and then I'm just going to go like this. Kind of outline the bottom of the nose. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna stick my, I'm just gonna pick his nose. I'm gonna shove my pinkies. My, one pinky up one nostril, one pinky up another nostril. Is there using tools already? Uh, you can. I like, I kind of I kind of use my fingers for a little while, but you're welcome to use tools. No, it's okay. Um, Sometimes it's nice to just get like one of these wood tools and just dip it in the water that you have right there. And then you can kind of draw with it. Okay. Hey, I need you to make a face for me. Huh? No, I'm good. Okay. Wait. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what face? Then I'm gonna come in. So right now my the, my nose is like super flat. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my thumb, my finger in the back of his nose, and then I'm just gonna push the bridge of his nose down and kind of make it so his nose kind of crocks back right here. Okay. So now there's a little dimple right here under the nose. Mm -hmm. I just usually come in and I put my kind of put my fingers behind where the teeth would be. And kind of push outward and then I put a little dimple right there. Uh, so if you have a mouth guard, if your guy was to take a bite out of a sandwich, would it be a U shape, you know? Or would it be like super square? So you kind of you kind of gotta think so like this part of his face needs to round out. Mm. Okay. Then once I do that, the clay kind of pops out and then so see how when I push back right here, you see where my fingers are? You see how I push right there? Yeah. And now that lip has a lot more action. And then I can come in and I can outline the bottom lip a little bit. So it's easy. Now he's smiling. He's smiling the way I did it. Okay, so when you look at somebody's facial structure, see where the hair doesn't grow on my face? Mm -hmm. So there's two muscles. There's right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you have the dimple right there that where like right above your chin. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of want to outline those and then kind of give it a little bit of pressure right below the lip. Give it a little dimple. Okay, so see how I just pinched right there and like all of a sudden his chin, I just pinched down there at the bottom. Yeah. The chin's coming out. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now you like have like a strong jaw. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just come in there and I'm gonna kind of push, I'm gonna push from the outside. And I'm gonna push that jaw out even a little bit more. Once you kind of feel like you're done being like super aggressive with it, we can cut it off and it makes it so you can kind of adjust a little bit, but it's kind of nice when it's stuck on there, so you can kind of really push to get like the nose out and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. So once you get all that basic shape in place, 
So then, see how I got the face going? Yes. Uh -huh. So now what I can do is I can draw my lines up through here, and I can get some like I can get the back of your jaw right here. Interesting. Okay, so I can kind of pinch that up. You need me to? You're like, you want me to make a huh? Crazy face, something? I'll do. It. I'll do smoke. Smoke, like. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. If you want, it's up to you. What do you think? Okay, and you gotta look about how do the like the bags under my eyes? How do they? There's one like pink when I when I do a smolder. Does you know like the way that the eyebrows? So this is angry face. This is a sad face. This is like a bored face. So you bring the eyebrows, make them nice and straight, or you can make them, you know, Dwayne Johnson, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So you gotta think about the way that those eyebrows, and then you can kind of, so. Interesting. Okay, so now, once I have, once I have my eye sockets kind of pushed back and my eyebrows kind of come out like, like this, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right back in where the eyes are, where now, because right now they're kind of concave, like you have no eyes. So you can add little balls of clay, but I found that I just like to go back in and then I'll just push out and then it makes a little bulge that comes out. And then that'll be your little eyeball and then I'll add eyelid on top. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go in right here and I'm just going to hold onto the clay, try not to let the whole face kind of go out. Maybe support around like where the bags of the eyes are and just kind of push out and make like a little, a little ball. Okay, and once you feel like you have a lot of the clay kind of where you want it, and like for me, I need to add a little bit to the tip of the nose, and like I'm gonna add eyelids and stuff. So I gave you some clay out of my cup, mm. um, and some I'll just grab a little pinch of that, and and then I'll just make a little. little coil, so a coil is like a little snake or a little worm, you know? And I usually make it kind of like pointy, like a, like a, almost like a little carrot or a string bean. And this is gonna be the top of the eyelid. And so, so now I'm just kind of sculpting the top of the eyelid. So I'm just taking this guy and I'm just kind of putting it on top. Oh wow. And then like scraping off the top of the eyelids, mm -hmm. kind of a situation. Kind of shaping those. I'm fully making what you're doing. Which is good. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. It's literally going to start to see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get a little bit of mass in place for your eyebrows. So I'm going to I don't want it to be huge. If you like put a big old chunk on there, it's going to get like big bushy eyebrows. Mm -hmm. You can kind of make like a little coil, make it like kind of pointy at one end. Yeah, I didn't even do that. That's yeah. not a good thing. Did, so did you like carve them in? No, no, I'm totally kidding. I'm just like, I totally did bushy eyebrows. Which is cool, dude. Bushy eyebrows are cool. Like I just did, like my one of my sculptures I did, I did like a unibrow, it was all bushy and gir like on purpose, you know? Really? Okay. Yeah. So that's all part of the process. Is This one long and I put it on top of the other eyebrow and then I pinched it off so it's the same size. Right. And I'm just gonna twist it and I'm just gonna put it on this side. Interesting. And then I'll just come in, I'll give you one of these wood tools, like it's kind of like a wood needle tool looking thing. Mm -hmm. And then that's the kind of thing I'll come in and like I'll just think about that. I'll start combing the hair and just think, you know, eyebrow usually the hair kind of goes up straight up and then slowly mm -hmm. starts to go outward. Most people, you you can only see like seventy five percent of their of their eyelids, and the top of it is cut off by your top eyelid. Some people, their eyelid, it, the bottom eyelid, cuts it off, and they have, and it just has a different look. And what I recommend with these is I like I try to make them like look somewhere. You can make them look stare straight out, but sometimes I just like I'll just make both the eyes like look up, down, left, right, and it just kind of gives it a little more. You know, but you were kind of, you were kind of like, you were during this thing, you were like staring at me. So maybe, maybe I'm actually going to do that. I don't, I don't remember the last time I did it straight on. Then, 
my trick for the for the the pupil is that um, your eyes usually reflect light, and so there's usually like um, like you see all the lights in the room like reflecting off of my eye. So what I'll do is instead of making like a circle, uh, I'll make like a U shape, like a moon shape, mm -hmm. where the pupil is, and there's like a chunk in the middle, mm -hmm. and that kind of and then when I'm glazing and stuff, I'll put like a little little fleck of white in there, and kind of, yeah. and that gives it like a little sparkle in the eye, so it has a little more light. So I'm gonna come in and I'll. Two, three. Wow, you said yes. so much more detail. That is awesome. I don't know. Like, it just kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, because it was really hard to get the mouth. But dude, that is so much detail, dude. That is so awesome. It it kind of has like a um, like a scarecrow vibe because of the like, Yeah, the bit, yeah. And I like that. I think that's super cool. Well, I tried to do it like where it didn't look, I was just like doing it like human detail. And then, like, they like kind of sized a little bit, like, with the line. You know, like, I didn't make it perfectly symmetrical, but like there's a lot of zoom in there. It's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Well done. I like the pupils. Yeah, it's just so like it's interesting because it's like it's interesting when you do something for the first time because you you don't do it like the concrete way. Yeah. And so it kind of provides something new, but yeah. Well I like how you put like the, the lines on the forehead to like give it like that's super like that's fun detail that you're throwing in there. Well yeah, and, and it'd be fun like to do it because I have that big thing on my forehead. Like my lines, lines. Like are really like exuberant. If you see like where wrink I have a lot of wrinkles. So see and that would have been fun to capture in those. Like so at this point what I would be doing is I'd be going in and start putting in those lines and like and then line up like around the bottom of the eyes and then like coming off to like your uh you see so you don't have much coming off the corner of the eyes almost, but you know those kinds of things and um but definitely like in the forehead and like coming down below the eyes. Yeah. But like your forehead, yeah, like that would have been a lot of fun to start getting into those. So like give more character? Yeah. Well, awesome, man. Thank you. Of course. This is so much fun. It is. Very nice work. Woo! That was fun. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Like I felt like, I mean, for me, I, I feel like a hypocrite because I was like, well, I mean, when you're when you're doing something for the first time, you, you don't want to be a perfectionist, but I felt like one, but it, yet, I still make something I was proud of, so I don't know, it's cool. This is really fun, and I sh you should be proud because for the first time ever touching clay and to come back with a, a really fun face vessel that's unique and handmade by you, that's so cool. So well, thanks, man. I don't know, and it, it's hard to like gauge like where I'm at in the process. Like, how do you like gauge where people are at? You know, like over time, and how do you like tier? You know, because you're teaching people all the time. Yep. And so, how do you like know where they're at? Where well, they're it's at? differentiated instruction, so we're gonna we're gonna cater to where you are. At that at that time, it's not we're not going to push you further than you should be. We're gonna we're gonna cater to where you are right now and just advocate for for growth and expansion and challenge you a little bit. But we're not going to like go anything crazy. And so from here though, what we would do is once it's a finished product, and so these ones are these ones are greenware mm -hmm. and they're still kind of wet and they are they're still at a place where you can add details and put all the stuff in kind of like this guy. So this guy is a finished product. He's He's got like little glasses. Wow. I gave him a little Band-Aid on the top there. We added a how handle. Did you, how did you do all the color? So the they're under glazes. They're, wow. it's, a, it's like a pigment, but you can also use like colored slips using like uh, mason stains, mm. things like that. So it's just, so it's a clay body with, with colorings and stuff in them. Awesome. And you can add that onto the, you know, onto the actual sculpture. Excuse Bless me, you. everyone. Bless Sorry. You. <laughs> and then there's also just like I have I have red clays, I have white clays, and so I use like white clay to put the band-aid on this guy. Yeah. You know? And awesome. That kind of stuff. So and where so, where do they go from here? So they're here. Yeah. And then what's the next step? So once they then they go to here, which okay. is just like a finished product. Everything's done. You've cleaned it up with a sponge and paintbrushes and uh, put all the final details into it. If you're gonna add colored slips and stuff, that's where you go. Then it dries out and becomes bone dry like this guy. So once it has no more moisture inside of it, then it can be fired. And once it goes through the first firing, it's called bisquare. Okay. So bisquare, if you uh, if you pick this up and tap on it with your finger, yeah, it sounds like glass, right? Right. So when I dip this in glaze, it's porous and it's going to absorb all the glaze. And once it comes out of the glaze firing, then you have your finished product. It's food safe. It's microwave safe. Uh, you can put it in the oven. You could put it, you, pretty much you can do anything but bounce. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
So, and then you just got, you know, here, go, go ahead and give him a shot. Oh, it's so light. It's like easy. It's, and then it's fun and it'd be easy for like tea or like whatever you wanted to put in. Absolutely. Like just to have it. And it's cool and it's just so unique, you know? And like, I don't know. And I like the detail you put in, like which way the eyes are looking, the cigar, like the detail of being able to manipulate the clay in the way you do. It's like pretty phenomenal. Thank you so you know, much. Like, no, this is the one you were talking about with the unibrow, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the unibrow. So we well, can, that's awesome. If you can add the details, just like just like on this guy, was, his eyebrows are a little bushy, but I, you just you can. There's no right or wrong when it comes to these things. It's always just your artistic expression. So my question is, I mean, two questions. Number one, um, what 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 kind of content are you wanting to make next? And number two, if like let's say I'm wanting you to you know enroll in classes and get involved, like how would I do that? Absolutely. So uh, I do have an Iverson Ceramics website. Okay. I have an Iverson Ceramics Facebook page, uh, Instagram. I have a TikTok. So you can message me through any of those uh, platforms. TikTok's doing really well, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's brand new. So uh, I'm glad that it's doing doing okay. You know. Thank you so much. And and guys, make sure you do you know check out the links with the as far as his TikToks, his like social medias. But of course, for classes, if you're interested in learning. All this amazing stuff and like all this amazing detail and you're an artist make sure you check it out 100 thank you yeah no problem yeah. thank you <laughs>